got a quick demonstration on how to set up your georgiagateway.gov because I know a lot of you are having issue with it and so many of you are actually going in. That's why it's so slow. It's like literally takes forever for anything to load. So what I did is I took screenshots of it. So I won't be able to show you live because of um, how slow it is. But once you go to your um, browser, just type in gateway gateway.georgia.gov and once you press enter this is the screen that you should see well this wouldn't apply basically if you didn't have it before and you try to apply today you wouldn't get the 350 because only the 350 payment only apply for those that had medicaid food stamp or 10 f in july 31st 2022 so these are the two buttons that you will go to either create an account or manage my account so if you don't have an account you never did it before this is where you will go and if you already have a login this is where you will go i do understand that many of you guys have um probably use your device to do it so it, so if you are using your mobile device this is the screen that you're gonna see instead okay i don't like pressing this button right here i prefer you to press either this or this if you will then receive a pop-up that wants you to confirm that you are trying to leave georgia gateway mobile page which you are and once you press okay you should see this screen that which is a general login that everyone see once you're here you will click create new account and those that are on the desktop welcome page you will click on this create an account once you click on that button it's gonna take you to a screen that looks like this and it has highlighted it has step one where you have to fill out your first name your last name this is where you enter your email address once you put your email address in make sure you click verify because so once you click on verify it's gonna send your it's gonna take you to another page where You'll be required, it's gonna send you a code to your, your email, which you have to enter to, to verify it. Um, don't click on this because the purpose of doing setting up account is to get the email set up so that you can get the e-certificate faster. And then the same way, same, put in your mobile phone number and click on verify and it's gonna send you a code to your device which you need to enter. And then once you scroll down, you're gonna see step two as well which requires you to put in a user ID and a password. We type the password, and if this does not apply to you, click on no. Then you're gonna have a security question. This is all in the same page. You have to screenshot it so you can see everything. But step one, step two, step, step three are all in the same screen. So you click on, you do this part, your security question, click one and choose the answer, blah, blah, blah. And also make sure you, you have to check this box in order to do it and then just click on continue at the very bottom and what you do it's gonna say that you create an account and then once you click on continue it's gonna take you back to the login screen but now for those that click on manage account login this is where you're gonna start for those that create they had to create an account you had to do these steps before getting to this screen so now we're all in one accord so we're all going to log in once you click on login now the first thing that you will say see is the confidentiality agreement which you have to click accept once you click on accept it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this for someone that created a new account but so for someone that's logging in your screen might look like something like this where it will have your case number client id client name program eligibility benefit amount and benefit status in this column right here it will have all the client all the people that's in on your case right the the program that they're in and this is where it's going to tell them tell you if they were eligible or not eligible and the benefit amount and benefit status so those that already had account once you log in this is the screen that you're going to look the only difference is it's going to if you don't have an email option you will see email option but those that already have an email option is going to say 
update your email. Okay, so if you see email option, that means you do not have an email set up. So you click this button and set up an email option. But if you do have an email already, it's gonna it's gonna say something in, in line of update your email so that you can see if they have the right email on file for you. So let's go back to yeah. So if you just not create an account, this is how your screen is going to look. So if you already already have an account, which many of you already do, you will click on this button. Okay, we create an account. When you get to this screen and click on this button, once you click on this button, it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this. So this is where you link your crates. So it's very important to put in the information that they are requesting. They're asking for your date of birth. For this section, you have to either put your social security number or your client ID. Your client ID can be found on your the paper, the mail that you normally receive from, from them is normally in the top right corner of that paper with their client ID. This is what you will put on here. If you don't know your client ID and you know your social security number instead, you will put this on, you will put that over here instead and then click on continue. Once you click on continue, it should link and you should be fine. And then you will probably see this screen over here where it'll ask you to either email option and then you will see the case number client id name but that is it for it and bye